it's it's fun to see beginning to end from the accidents in Austin that brought you to Nashville to the uh, collaborations to the writing and the way that you've evolved. Have you gotten over the insecurity of the beer, beer, truck, truck? I still think about it for sure. Um, It was, you know, I had toured for 10 years at that point with Vanna Trailer and learned how to write songs and learn how to be a touring musician and all this stuff. And um, I got my big break from a viral moment, right? Yeah. Like responding with a song to somebody making fun of country music saying, beer, beer, truck, truck. And, you know, I write a song about it, and I was proud of the song that I wrote in response to it, and it ends up being this huge thing, and it gave me my moment. But then it was like, oh, man, am I going to be the beer, beer, truck, truck guy for yeah. the rest of my life? And um, luckily, we were able to back it up and create some music that I was proud of. And so I'm still proud of that song because it opened the door for me and gave me the chance to, like, reach a whole new fan base. And so then when I put Mind on You out, um, I was able to say hey like I can I can write real songs too and so and to have people connect with it in that way and then have beer beer open the door for me and then mind on you blow it all the way open and yeah. be my first number one song I'm definitely thankful for that song because yeah, so. I know you went through a, like a, sh- a short period of, or maybe a long period of insecurity of being known for that right a hundred percent yeah and, it's it, because you just want to be able to share more but you're right? Good now, right yeah it's, I'm good yeah, yeah and I, we, we'll still play it in sets and we still have people request it do all you the play time. okay I was gonna yeah, say I hope you yeah. play it out uh, it reminds me of and not to get too off topic but I, it reminds me of a conversation I had with a long time ago with the chain smokers yeah who had the selfie song and they're like oh no we're the selfie guys now yeah. and then they they literally had management say don't bring up that song. Don't ever play that song. That is not us. And I was like, I mean, you wouldn't be here without it. Yeah, and I think they yeah. got to a place at this at the same time. You get time. comfortable with it. Yeah. yeah. With you with your writing now, what's so what where do you feel you are at mentally? Yeah, I think that um I'm in the best place I've ever been writing-wise. We just put out seven new songs on my EP and um, am working on finishing up the rest of the record. And I don't think it's specifically like love songs or heartbreak songs or anything like that. I think it's more just like honest songs, yeah. songs that I feel like are me, songs that I believe when I sing them. Um, I've really found a lane of like who I am as an artist and really been able to start connecting with my fans on a deeper level from that because I think I've been you know, allowing myself to be nobody but me and not chase anything now and just be the sound that I'm comfortable with and that I'm happy with and um, that's really given me a lot closer connection with my fans and I think um, you know all of the songs are honest and real but they might not be current right there's songs on that record from like mistakes that I made or things I wish I wouldn't have done or times I got my heart broke which is not today you know Uh, and then there's songs about today and like being comfortable in my own skin and happy with who I am and thankful for the life I have and so I think all of the songs are kind of windows into my journey and who I am but not necessarily where I'm at right now when somebody has an album like yours kind of a song for everybody in a different period of their life let's just go through and see what you would pick for these different scenarios Okay, okay yeah on your album what's the best song for drinking beer. I got a song called Hard on the Bottle that's pretty good. I've been working hard on the bottle, but the bottle's hardly working on me. <laughs> that was me. a layup. So, that was yeah. a layup. Go, uh, what, what, a good song for, the best song for Dancing in the Kitchen. The Dancing in the Kitchen song is, uh, it's got to be cowboy songs. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a honky-tonk power anthem. So I think that's definitely one that uh, you could spin around a little. Best song you s- to sing in the shower on that album. Uh, the best song to sing in the shower, I would probably say, is uh, okay breaking up. Just a power ballad, man. You know, the, the shower yeah, yeah. is right for power ballads, yeah. Best song uh, for making love. Oh, man. Made You Made Me. See? Yeah, that's uh, it's praising the girl. You know, it's kind of slow and moody and, right. ste- and steamy. So, uh, Can we turn yeah, the lights down in here a little bit? I just want to get in the movie. <laughs> I think it's all, this is one of my right? first time I've had anybody ask me this stuff in an interview. This is fun go, for me, go, too. Go, look yeah. at that. 